Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. You're watching Zim DI TV. For those of you in Zimbabwe, thank you for joining us. Those of you outside the country who have decided to watch this on our Facebook page, Zim DI TV, it's a pleasure always hosting you on this wonderful platform. I am now joined by the Chief Executive of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. That's uh, Dr. Karikoga Kaseke. Dr. Kaseke, you, you, you said a few words uh, back there, but uh, I would like just to make a follow through on what you said. You mentioned the fact that it is important for bridging to, to bridge the gap between the industry tourism industry and the media why is this important no because uh, definitely tourism survives on the media without the media uh, there is no tourism actually tourism media is the, um, the lifeline of tourism uh, so if the media is not fed with the industry with good stories or any stories about what is happening in the tourism industry, there is no tourism to talk about. So, um, uh, if we definitely work very closely with our media, uh, it will take us uh, a long, long way, because um, media is critical to us. It is very critical to us. Now, when you talk about the the critical role that the media plays uh, in promoting tourism in Zimbabwe, we, we know Zimbabwe has been going through rough patches, left, right and center, whether it's the economy, it's in business, almost in every aspect of life. How has the media so far, uh, you know, played a, its role in terms of promoting Zimbabwe, the marketability of Zimbabwe, vis-a-vis -vis the reportage that we have witnessed uh, to date in the country? Yeah, like that is what I was saying. That uh, we know that the reportage that has been coming out uh, from uh, some sources of the media were are very negative about Zimbabwe, which create negative perceptions about Zimbabwe in the market, where we are battling with other destinations to compete for um, tourists. Definitely, if we if we were not aware, we as destinations we compete. Yes, we talk about cooperation in terms of regional integration, in terms of continental integration, but there is what we call competition. We must cooperate, but uh, at the end of the day, we must also compete. We call that competition. And this is um, the, co the, the, the competition bit of it is where the countries will rely on their brands. So the brand Zimbabwe outside there in the source markets, I want to be very honest with you, it's not a good brand. It is a brand that is um, uh, associated with all sorts of negativity and uh, this is where we want our friends in the media to help by uh, portraying not a positive image but portraying a true image of Zimbabwe. What exactly is Zimbabwe all about? What exactly, if there's no one who has been um, killed in the streets in Zimbabwe, there is no one who has been killed in the streets in Zimbabwe. Yes. So basically what we are simply saying is that perceptions count. Perceptions become reality. And we know that perceptions are very uh, influential in tourism. Tourism is about perceptions. People go to destinations, never mind how beautiful your destination can be, but if the perception of that destination is like what Zimbabwe's perception in the source markets today is, you very you struggle for us to be having the number of tourists that are trickling in the country at the moment it's very hard work very hard work not only from zta but from zta and the and the, the, the industry itself we go together and we try by all means to make sure that zimbabwe image is portrayed truthfully not positively no truthfully and this is what we are saying you remember we ran with a perception management program where we bring in a lot of um, opinion shapers or opinion leaders from all over the world and uh, celebrities from all over the world. And this is basically what we're trying to do to try to them to try to say this is Zimbabwe, this is what we know about, this is what you should know about Zimbabwe. And when we brought one artist sometime uh, three, six, six, seven days ago, and uh, he was asked by, when he went back to America, he was asked by the people, are you sure you are coming from Zimbabwe? <laughs> yeah, and, and how can you be, uh, uh, how, uh, how, uh, how, how could you have gone to Zimbabwe? What, what was in your mind? And he said, no, uh, when I came from Zimbabwe, I came via UK. 
I felt much safer in Zimbabwe than I was in the UK. I felt much safer in Zimbabwe than I am here in America. And that is basically what we want. We, wa we want them to portray the image of Zimbabwe as it is. So that, yes, we have got our challenges. We can't run away from them. We have got our challenges where there are some challenges, there are some problems that are, that are happening. If borders are being banned because of a structural instrument that has been uh, passed by government, we can't run away from that. Bad bridge went ablaze because a structural instrument that was passed by government, people were not able about it. We can't say it's not happening. But we must also make sure that uh, in the context of that, uh, we must also uh, put things in the right context, in, the, in their proper context. So who, when we say we must, is the media. The media must uh, uh, do their work. They must help this destination prosper. Zimbabwe is a very beautiful destination. And it is a, a very a real, a real world of wonders. And uh, I think um, we are not doing justice to our destination. But how are we marketing? Is Zimbabwe marketable? Yes, we are. It's, it's an uphill task. I must say, I must admit, it's a very uphill task. It's a very difficult task. But we are. When we go, we a person who decides to come to Africa. You decide to come to Africa and decide which part of Africa he wants to go to. If he decides to go to North Africa, he will never come to Southern Africa because he's interested in North Africa and he goes to, to North Africa. A person who comes to South Africa, we have decided to come to Southern Africa. But when he comes to Southern Africa, he decides which countries he wants to go to. And uh, that's where we find ourselves now in competition with other destinations in Southern Africa. And we, other destinations are at an advantage because they don't have the negative perception that we are having. And that is basically the cause for this uh, media interaction. We need them to help us in terms of portraying a true image of Zimbabwe, which we know that uh, uh, with time it will be positive. And I think uh, we are on the right track. We, uh, we said on over 2 million arrivals last year, second only to South Africa, and I think it's a good work that we're doing against the, the perceptions that are on Zimbabwe in the, in the major source markets. Just uh, before, before we, you go, uh, Dr. Kaseke, right now we, uh, we have audiences all over the world. We have got viewers who are actually watching this program live on their Facebook pages from the United Kingdom, the Americas, from Asia and all over. What, what, uh, what would you want to say to them regarding the image of Zimbabwe right now? Those are also our representatives, our marketers who are out there representing Zimbabwe. What message would you have for them? Yeah, the Zimbabwe that we know is not the Zimbabwe that they are hearing about on the, on the international media. The Zimbabwe that they are hearing about in the international media who are also shocked uh, about that Zimbabwe, but we cannot form a perception against our own Zimbabwe. The Zimbabwe that we know is a Zimbabwe that is um, the most uh, uh, peaceful country. People in Zimbabwe love peace. They are the most peaceful people they can ever think of anywhere else in the world. The Zimbabweans are very, very peaceful. I'm saying this to the world. Zimbabwe is a very peaceful country. And um, they are our unique selling point. What if we can't sell the peace that, prevail, that prevails in Zimbabwe? What can we sell? Zimbabwe is a peaceful country. It's not, there's nothing to ask about when we are talking about Zimbabwe. We can only think of um, the other things that we talk about, which are not really, uh, in, uh, not which are not really issues, but yes, I have said already that other areas where we need to really address, which we are addressing, uh, and I hope that with time these issues will be addressed. But Zimbabwe is a very peaceful country. Please don't fear about your safety when you come to Zimbabwe. You are safe. Why are people saying there are too many roadblocks? These roadblocks, to some extent, are also guaranteeing peace. They are also guaranteeing peace, to some extent. But uh, yes, we are saying that uh, we don't want our tourists to be harassed. Yes, we will not allow our tourists to be harassed by anyone, including by the police. 
we must accept them as visitors, we must respect them as visitors, and I think, um, but the police in Zimbabwe are known, renowned uh, internationally, renowned globally for maintaining peace. Even if when they go on peace missions, our police comes out tops. So Zimbabwe is selling peace. Come to Zimbabwe. If you want peace, come to Zimbabwe. If you want anything else other than peace, go elsewhere. But if you want peace, come to Zimbabwe. Well, that's a very powerful statement there from Dr. Uh, Kariko Gakaseke, the chief executive of the Zimbabwe Tourism Authority. If you want peace, come to Zimbabwe. And that's what Zimbabwe is selling at the moment, promoting itself, promoting brand Zimbabwe. Thank you, Dr. Kaseke, for joining us on ZimDI TV. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Well, there you are. We continue to give you coverage of this event. This is a bride party uh, that has been organized by the Zimbabwe uh, Tourism Authority, the Ministry of Tourism and Hospitality Industry, uh, bridging the gap between the tourism industry in Zimbabwe and the media, who are its chief partners. We continue to give you uh, uh, guests as they come and join us here on this platform. So keep watching ZimDI TV.